Hello, this is mindphp.com. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a delete function button. Since we already have a delete button, but it's not yet functioning, let's try this one. So, what we're gonna do now is to create that function delete. So, let's go to our controllers, com hosting folder controllers, and to our PHP file host. Now here, let's create a function delete. Now, the function of this code, the use of this code, is to check the token sent from the form and also to prevent attacks. Now, let's get the ID value that will be passed as the array. Let's also retrieve the object from class in models. Our model is host. Now let's create a function loop to pull the ID out. This one, if the model gets the ID, it will be deleted. Then let's create a message. Delete successfully. Or else, If the ID is not get, then it will not be successfully deleted. Now let's create also a message for error. Now after we delete the item, let's set a landing page. This will be our landing page. So copy it. Post. 
Now we were done to our function delete in controllers folder. Now let's go to the host file in models folder. Here we will create again a function delete. Let's retrieve the object DBO for database management. We will gonna execute the query object. After that one, let's create the SQL function. So this will gonna be delete the data from the table. Our table is MD hosting companies so copy delete MD hosting companies where where the ID is equal to the DB ID. Let's set the query. and also execute let's add here a runtime so that if there's an error message and it will return to keep false Now we were done. Let's try our code. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's change this one to this one. Save this. Now we were done. Let's go to our sample. Refresh it. Now it's deleted successfully. Let's try again. Refresh it. Then delete. It's now okay.